So my name is Tyler Tritton and I am a professor of philosophy here on site at the actual Gonzaga University and I'd like to talk about something very serious today. It has come to my attention that one Jimmy Kimmel has claimed that Gonzaga University does not exist. Um, this was all the more surprising because I've never heard of Jimmy Kimmel but apparently he is a very real person or so I've been told. Uh, now I think to treat this problem as to whether Gonzaga University actually exists, I'm going to make an argument by analogy, which is to say where you compare two things, and if the two things being compared are comparable enough, are similar enough, then what is true of the one thing would surely also be true of the other thing. Now we know that when certain marginalized groups will claim that the state does not recognize them and therefore according to the state that they do not exist. Or, let's say on a less serious note, when people ask, if a tree falls in a woods, but no one is there to hear it, does it really make a noise? I think both of these examples point to the idea that if a thing does not have an effect, then it does not exist. So that the operative principle is that to exist is to have an effect. And, as logicians would say, per modus tollens, not to have an effect is not to exist. Uh, and so if Gonzaga did not exist, then Jimmy Kimmel, by dedicating three straight shows to the non-existence of Gonzaga, has certainly brought about very real and palpable effects. And so I would like to thank Mr. Kimmel for bringing Gonzaga into existence um, and therefore performatively refuting his own claim. Thank you.